Well, that sounds like a happy locker room. Well, it's nice to score a few goals. <laughs> you know. So it was it was good to see, and especially in the second period when we started resembling our team, you know, in the first half. So you know, we started doing some good things, I and mean, the goals were a result of good good effort, back pressure, and then leading to transition. So defense leading to offense. You 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 talked about trying to get more people toward the net and stuff like that, and indeed, I think, you know, as I remember some of the goals, I think that getting more active in the offensive zone, that kind of threw their goalie off a little bit. Yeah, I mean, getting traffic to the net is something we've been lacking uh, over the last three weeks. And, you know, we've, we've worked on it in practice. We've talked about it, you know, showing video and trying to be as positive as we can through this process. You know, it's, uh, it's important that we get back to, you know, feeling comfortable offensively. And that's where it starts. Could you see the lift on your, your kids as, you know, kind of a collective sigh of relief now that they, they got through some of this? Yeah, I, mean, I, I think we saw that sigh of relief going into the third period, frankly. But Yeah, because yeah. the two goals that you allowed. With that in mind, do you think, Matt, do you, think you might give Cale uh, a rest tomorrow night? And maybe come well, I haven't, talk, I haven't talked to him yet. I haven't talked to the coaches yet. I mean, we got a bye week coming up here, so I'm not so much concerned about his fatigue. You know, it's... Uh, for him, it's just a matter of staying focused in these situations. So, and again, if he doesn't, you know, if he's not on early, uh, you know, because they they jumped out on the shots and stuff like that, he was on his game early, which allowed you to get into yeah, your it did, thing. and that's the key, you know, for us right now. I mean, it's been like that all season long, where you know he does a good job of holding the fort until we get going, you know, because we've uh, been a notorious slow starting team. You know, and that's another thing we address and try to deal with. But uh, you know, I thought we were a little bit on our heels in the first period, and you know, he made the difference. Coach, last week we talked about puck handling and making you know the indecision of you know when to take the shot. Tonight it seemed like a totally different approach to the game. Well, you know, we uh, reevaluated our game objectives, and, and one of them was you know first of all net net presence and. And part of that's also getting pucks to the net, you know. So, you know, for the most part, I didn't think we bypassed a lot of shots. And that's where we have to, we have the opportunity to shoot the puck. We got to shoot the puck. But, it, you know, a shot's a shot. If you got traffic at the net, it makes it that much more important. Uh, you talk about puck possession a lot throughout the season and how important that is uh, in the offense. How would you evaluate the puck possession tonight? And do you think it's still something that needs to be harped on? Well, yeah, we, we, it's a, it's, that's a work in progress. I thought, you know, at times, uh, the second period, our, our puck possession was outstanding. It wasn't just that we scored goals. That we had some good offensive zone time. Um, we came out of our zone with a lot more speed. Uh, that's where a couple of those goals came from. Um, and, you know, that's more what we need of. We just need to find a way to be able to do that for a sustained period of time, more than 20 minutes, try to do it for 60. Thanks, Coach.